Hey guys, it's RC Crush here. I'm Adrian, and we have Adam here. Uh, this is not my slash. Uh, this is Adam slash. Uh, same thing, two wheel drive, everything stock. Uh, except his is actually not broken, unlike mine. Uh, but the thing we're going to be doing today is we will be refilling his shock oil. As you can see, there is barely any in there. It sags down so much. So what we have here is some Team Factory 30W silicone shock oil. And we're just going to be filling both of them up, just the back ones, uh, just to uh, make sure it doesn't sag. So basically the first thing you want to do is just take off the tire, which we already did. And the next part is you're just going to get an Allen key or whatever you use. And you're going to unscrew the top screw, just like this. And then you're just going to do it on the bottom as well. Alright, so there's that one. Make sure you don't lose these screws, that would be very bad. And then you're going to get down here, right there, and get that one out. This one requires a smaller Allen key. Alright, I'm going to have to like, I have to get in a weird position here. Alright. that. Eh. I'm going to try to get this in a different position. Alright, here we go. Same thing, just unscrew it and it's going to come right off. Eh. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. This is very difficult to get to. Okay, one of the washers just came out from the top one. I didn't realize there was a washer until now. So there's a washer with that, so be careful. Make sure you get that too. Uh, all right, there's the shock. Just give that screw out. Uh, here's the washer. I'll just leave it in there for now. So here's the shock. As you can see, there's not. As soon as you put it up and put it down, it just goes like that, and it's not much shock, uh, shock oil is in here. So. Okay, so we have the shock here, and we got some needle nose pliers and just a screwdriver. So now what you're gonna do? We're not taking the whole shock apart. We're, we only need the cap off right here. So what we're gonna do is take the needle nose pliers and. Just clip them on to that, just like that. Make sure it's tight. Put this on the left pan. Make sure it's tight. Get a screwdriver and just twist it. And it just comes off and then you can just twist the rest of it off. So you take off the needle on the pliers and just twist right off. Just like that. And here you see all the shock oil. It's looking pretty dirty, so we're going to, where's the garbage can? We're going to go take it over to a garbage can. Or just outside. So we're going to take it outside here and into the garbage can. Right out into here. And just so you guys can see the color of this, this is probably going to be all brown. Make sure you get that close. It's all brown and yucky and shock oil is supposed to be clear. This is brown and yucky, which is not good whatsoever. And that's why the shock was not performing as well as it's supposed to. Now we're going to take it back inside. We got all the shock oil, the original shock oil out. And now we're gonna fill it up with the new shock oil. So just before we do that, I'm just gonna clean it off a little bit. Check that, make sure everything's out. And now I'm gonna grab the new shock oil. Show you that again. And we're gonna twist off the cap. 
twist the cap off. Just like that. I'm gonna fill it up. If it wants to come out. Here's not frozen. <laughs> And it does not want to come out. That could be the problem. Open this up. Oh, there's a cap on it. Let's take that off. There we go. Twist that back on. Open this up. coming out. All the way to the top. Just like that. All the way to the top. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull the the rod up and down to get any air bubbles out. I don't know if you could see them, but there's a few coming out. So just like that. Now we're gonna get the cap right on and just twist it back on yeah, gotta get it lined up mm, doesn't want to line up okay there we are alright there we go and now much better and it's going to perform much more light nicely and it's not going to sag as much uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if any of you guys have any more questions about this uh, just comment below and uh, hope this helps some of you guys out and this is RC Crush signing off